Welcome to the second episode of Perch Pro 2017. We're halfway into the first day and Gunky has 129 perches so far, way over everyone else. Vision has the top fish, 1.23 kilo, and like all the other teams, they have been driving for most of the day and a lot can happen until the 6 o'clock report. Now the bad bite are dying on the G-bump, so we we know the fish are there. So there's two solutions. They stop biting because they are now less active, or they get spooky because uh, we catch so much that now they, they are really difficult to take. Yeah, the fly guys, they actually caught a fish over 1.2. That's, that's impressive. I mean, they, they proved that they, they, they're in the game. They're really in the game. But if the wind starts push more, because I think they have a lot of wind, because they're also, I think they're the northern part of Stockholm where they were last year. And the wind is probably picking up as we speak. Great analysis, Albin. Although Vision Fly Dressing is about 200 kilometers north, and have another game plan after the midday report. Let's ask Stefan for a recap. Okay, so we just had the, the first report, oh, lunch, lunch report. Ooh, yeah. And it turns out that we are second best in numbers, and uh, we got the biggest fish at the moment. So uh, we're actually doing very, very well. And now we got a double hookup. First two casts after the report, this is looking good. That's a decent fish. Well done, mate. Uh, the fly guys are on fire. <laughs> well done, mate. You too. Let's put them back. Yeah. Game is on. So we're actually hitting hard numbers at the moment. Um, so what we wanted, we haven't been on the water more than one hour, and they have probably had one or two hours more fishing than we have had. At least. Um, so we're trying to keep up with Gunky. Let's see if we can catch up with numbers. Sounds like a plan, Stefan, but you're 79 perch behind. Is that even possible? Don't forget that Ganke has six hours left to fish. Let's check in with teamspotting.se. How did you take the news, Janne? Welcome to Perth, Pro, Janne. It's not always like you think. Yeah, that one, I'm not really sure that they would have 129 fish. Fast att fly dressing av 50, det är också helt sjukt. Det men nästan, det visste vi ju om. Ja, men det är nästan mer sjukt faktiskt. Ja, det visste vi de skulle få. Nice weather, huh? Who cares? We need to catch 100 perch. Oh shit. Ah, let's try here. It's a bit deeper area. Fish on, pike. Ah, huh, that's not a perch. Nope. I wonder if it's a green one or a sander. Uh, it's not. It's dirt. Ah, it's no fish. Kraut. The worst kind. Sehr gutes Kraut, ja. Well, uh, we heard the results and we're way behind right now. But I'm uh, kind of stick to the plan to catch numbers and the big fish. I know that we have the big fish around here, so it's that's just a matter of time before we get in touch with them. And the numbers are also here, so we just have to find out what they want. They seem to be a bit tricky right now. A surfer. Smallest one. Smallest one, yeah. And it's exactamente. So this, ladies and gentlemen, is a 25 centimeter perch. 25.3. Thank you, Linus, for clarifying the minimum length of a perch in Perch Pro. Seems like CVC is really struggling. What's going on, Evert? There is something strange going on because yeah. this is the first time that yeah. it's so slow. In situations like this, just stay focused and calm. The fish will come because we are 100% sure that they are here. So it's hammering and hammering and wait for the strikes. There's so many bait fish here. We, we went to the other hole 
and we've never seen this much bait fish on the entire pre-fishing. So that's very positive. And Evert, he's had two missed strikes already. So this could be really good. Oh, missed one. Yep. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Is this a new, new big one, you think? Could be. Talon down. Oh, beautiful fish. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Nice, solid chunk. I don't think it's over a kilo, but it's no. bigger than 0 0.7. Uh, but because it's not bigger than 1.23, then we know, don't need to weigh it. But it's, I mean, it's a nice fish. Again, on the weedless presentation with this really cool new hook, new jig head called the BFT Triple S jig head. It's a weedless presentation for the piglet chat or any other soft baits with a stand-up feature. So the jig head stands up, you can shake it like a shaky head if you're using worms or you want to fish low, or you can jig it like, like a traditional jig. Really nice, and you can fish it in the weeds. We can upgrade by 0 0.8, I think. I mean, in the protocol, we call it 0 0.8. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Oh yeah, baby! Yeah. They fight like hell. They are fighters. They are the wolf pack. Oh, oh shit, that was close, man. <laughs> oh, I fuck, man. I think you got that on camera. <laughs> oh, yeah, a clump of weed. You want to kill him? And the, and the weed <laughs> came off as I was pulling and the bait zoom, straight towards you, the camera. Sorry, man. You did it on purpose, right? Oh my God, it could have gone really bad. While Albin is trying to blind the cameraman, Stockholm's fish yeah, are in contact with some big lunkers. Well, it's not that big, but... Let's see how it is. Fish on. Check. Okay. We're gonna let this one swim out. Well, the sun really made some difference for us, and now they're starting biting like hell. And like always in perch fishing, when you're fishing in shallow bays like this, they move around a lot. So I think we found a nice spot here while they're, where they're searching for bait fish. Oh, oh. good take. Oh, it's nice. off. Ah, fuck. I think I lost it. Oh. Yeah, fish on. They're fighting quite hard. Yeah. Real beautiful colors on this one. Very nice. And I'm using a jig ball from uh, Lucky John here with the 2017 bait here. Yeah. It's called the Basara. And one and a This is better. Is it better? A little bit. You want that? Oh, yeah. That's yeah. a better fish. This is maybe 550 or something. Doesn't matter because the fly team got bigger. Oh, this one. Nice. Got that one. Oh. Look, man, look, man, look, man. I'm pushing. Ooh. Oh, no. Yeah, that's a good one. Nothing. But it's not enough. You see, the big ones are here. And then they're just starting to feed. I'm gonna take a quick weigh on this one. And make a click. 845 grams. As you can see, it's a very long fish. But it's very thin. This hasn't started feeding up for the winter yet. But uh, it's on a pretty good way. We gonna let him swim back and feed some more. Bye bye. And this one? Okay. Whoop. Now it's two o'clock. We go out and open again to release our fish. Uh, yeah, we have been spending half an hour trying to get uh, some bigger, bigger perch to bite. 
So we went out uh, of the only spot and tried to see if uh, some big ones were, uh, were hiding in the, in the grass with Texas rig and spinner. But uh, no luck on that one, just for pike. And uh, we went back to the small cove where we have uh, all the stream and um, there we found uh, another group of uh, nice sized fish nice size again. Fish, yes. So yeah, we keep hammering and we go for the big, big numbers for the day. Taking a look at the number points, we see that even though Elix Gunky is catching a lot of fish, Vision having a staggering 40 fish an hour catch rate. What is your plan, Frederick? Yeah, fishing gets slow, but we need to find the, the fish. The fish are moving, the wind has been changing, and we need to find them. Oh, come on. It's not only that you might scare them, but uh, also more likely they're gonna swim around and take a turn chasing for bait fish. So you found them here now, then for 20 minutes, half an hour, you lost them. And then if you wait long enough, they will come back. Or you need to chase them around and, and find them again. It's also important to detect uh, all the bite, to use uh, rods that are very sensitive and uh, a good backbone to, for the hook set, but some light tip as well because uh, when you fight them uh, if you fight too, too hard for with uh, age for example um, then you will lose them because they will uh, you will rip the mouth or rip the, the lip so i really prefer the mh action uh, than the age age sometimes is good if you go a little bit deeper with a uh, uh, texas rig same. That's uh, that might be uh, the trick, but I really prefer MH action or medium action, medium, medium heavy. I haven't caught one for one hour. That is not good. It's yeah, more than one five. Hour. It's about one and a half since you caught the perch. I don't know. I probably need to take a motor oil. Take another color. Did you remember to zero your kicker? Fuck you, bitch. <laughs> I'll get you later. You nice! Go. That's a pike. <laughs> I told you before, this is perch proof. You should go for the striped ones. This one was had no stripe. This one was spotted green. Way up. to go! Just rolling it down the cliffs. Yep. It's pretty tough today. It's a lot of wind. It's probably the worst wind conditions I ever fished perch in. Just take a look, it's 15, 18 meters per second. Not in average, but in top wind. There nice. you go. There you go, baby. Pigo which? No pigo. No pigo, pigo. Perch, no, perch. Perch. Perchy, perchy. It's been a long time since I fished so heavy jig heads. 20 gram, I hardly ever fish. But these conditions are really bad. They don't leave us too much of a choice. It's uh, quite interesting with the Wolf Creek Shad. I've caught pretty much all the fish on this today. It still holds together. It starts to crack up a bit, look a bit sore. But with some glue, it's good to go again. From this to this, and it's still fishing really good. Now it's dead. Bye-bye. Click. Oh, might be a new top fish here, we don't know yet. Um, I actually thought, thought it was foul hooked, but the line has just been tangled around the fish. Oh, wow. Oh, that's a heavy fish, Daniel. That's a very heavy fish. That's a very good fish. Very nice fish. Let's take the fly out. It's out. Scale him directly.
11.95. Nice, buddy. <laughs> Beautiful fish. 11.95. A little bit smaller than the other one, but this is a fantastic fish. Look at it. It's so wide. Big mouth, beautiful colors. Yeah. It's a dream fish. It's beautiful, beautiful perch. Let's put him back. <laughs> man, you're amazing. just ripping them big fish, man. It's insane. It's, it's, it's so going. you had like four or five over a kilo? Yeah, four or five. I lost count actually. It's crazy. I think it's five. Well, maybe it's four, but yeah. Big mama. Big mama touch. <laughs> ah, it's the cat. Yeah. Ah. Okay, so I've uh, I've caught four or five fish above one kilo today, which is fantastic. Um, and every single fish took when I stopped the fly uh, retrieving like that and stop. And I can just see the line moving or. Oh, when I put a little bit of tension on the line, it just took the fly. Um, I actually learned like, quite a lot from, from Frederick last year when he was fishing uh, Perch Pro because he said something that for me was very positive. Um, speed makes the perch... Well done! Oh. <laughs> speed makes the perch um, interested. And I'm not sure it's the correct words, but but uh, when you when you stop, you create an opportunity to uh, for them to eat, and I think it's extremely important that you can actually learn from different techniques, even if you're a fly fisherman or a spin fisherman. So we can learn a lot from from the spinning guys, and maybe even the spinning guys could learn something uh, from us. So don't always just think that you can't learn from other, because you always can. Thank you, Frederick. So this is the knot which we always use, uh, a loop knot. So the fly is loose hanging, creates more movement and it's, it never tangles. And that might be a tip that you guys could use for your, for your jigging or spinning or whatever as well. It's just a great fishing knot. It seems as Evert also saw the last season of Perch Pro because he has something big in the net caught on the same technique as Stefan just spoke of. I caught a nice one, the biggest so far. And now we're for the security because <coughs> they already caught the 1.2 kilo fish. And this is not it. it this is not it, but I think this is close to a kilo now. This is a 900. 900. Yeah, 900. On the crankbait, man. On the crank. Strike Pro crankbait. Beautiful. Oh yeah. That was nice. Okay, so tell me how you work the lure, okay? I speed it up. Yeah. Fast. Pause. And then yeah. pause. Yeah? But in the pause, check your line. Speed it up. Now you see your line, yeah. it's falling. Yeah. But Stay connected to the line. Yeah, okay. So don't it. put the pressure on, but yeah, yeah. get Stay it straight to the lure. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. otherwise there will be a loop. Yeah. And maybe it wasn't the trick, but... Yeah, but it could have been. I mean, I, I, I tried it. Did. It did it for me. Yeah. And it was the biggest of today. It was. Who took yep. it? Fish on. First cast doing that with the crankbait. Fuck yeah, but that's, that's really cool, man. You owe me one. Yeah, I owe you one big time. <laughs> Also nice fish. Same same length, I think. This is a new one, the Cranky X Deep. And we used it for pre-fishing to cover water and get strikes. And then we hammer those places down with the piglet shad with the traditional jigging and, and stuff like that. But it's a really good power, power presentation. The cranking technique is you, you, you tension the line, you reel it down, and the bait goes down. And then you put the tension off the line, but you still keep a track of it. And it floats up like this. And the bites come when it floats up. So again, the crank goes down, really hard vibration and rattles inside. Goes down when you reel it, and then you pause it. Keep a little bit of tension on the line so you can see the bites. And they bite when it comes up really slow, like that. Almost like spinning for pike. 
<laughs> you do the the wave stop, as we say in Swedish. Super nice. It wasn't a coincidence that you caught one and then I caught no. one. I maybe this is the trick to yeah. get one or two more strikes. We had 197 fish, maybe 98 fish. We are in pursuit of fish number 200. Uh, only two fish to go to our one of our goals: 200 yeah. fish for one day on a fly rod. I think Who that's thought cool. that was possible? We're not going to stop there. 300 is at least not impossible. Maybe even 400. Number 200 for the fly team. Awesome. Man, that's a milestone. <laughs> well, if we continue on like this, we'll probably hit the top fish because we know that they're here. And uh, as long as the sun shines, the bites, they're biting real hard. So we hope that the big one will come on soon. It's a little bit shallow in here. So we we'll let the lure bounce in the bottom and just do a small twitch. A strike. Oh, oi, oi, oi. It's A-OK. -okay. Just caught the biggest fish of the day, but it's not the right species. It's uh, what we call Eid. I don't know what the English name for this is. It's, yeah, bye bye. And I got a perch. Fuck. And I thought I had a nice perch on. A fish can, no. yeah, but what pan? I go into. I don't know what I have on the hook. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Look! <laughs> it's those bastards that are hunting. I. Uh... <laughs> New personal best! Oh fuck, bottom hands. <laughs> oh. Took it back. I want a perch in that size. Have you yet I don't know I how big this perch is. Oh no. Oh, but it's a nice perch. It's a nice perch. I think we got a new top. Don't and to I know it. we got a new top. Oof. I had a big problem. This smacked. The nitrogen. This is a nice perch. Mm. 1.09. Okay, new top fish. 1.09, new top fish. It took on the nitro, uh, with the nitro head, 10 grams, and uh, the green sprout is the color. It works really good. Uh, it's a little bit green in the water, so I thought I could match the, the colors. And it works. Well, uh, the fishing isn't uh, quite as good as when the sun was shining, but they're still biting. <laughs> And the average size is very good. I think we haven't had any fish under no. the measurement. But they're still kind of slow because they only take it when it drops down to the bottom. So they don't want to rise up and take the bait. Let's see. Yeah, 1.2. Nice! New top fish for us. <laughs> Very nice. Now we just need to catch a bigger one than that. I caught this one while I was twitching the jig very slow. Small movements on the bottom. And then this came and he gave a hell of a fight. 1.2 kilo. I'm gonna let this boy, let this girl swim home. Well, it was a shame it wasn't bigger because I, I thought they could be a top fish of the day, but yep. But I think Albin or maybe the fly guys have caught a bigger one. Taking a look at the leaderboard, we can see that you're only 30 grams away from stealing the big fish point from Vision. We can also see that Vision now have caught 227 perches and now hold both the big fish point and the number point of the day. Meanwhile, Ilix Ganke just hit their mark for the day. 
So let me introduce you folks, number 200. So this little beauty, we're gonna control it, but should be 200. Yeah. On the size, <laughs> on the size. No. <laughs> <laughs> yes. We catch some more, but we are looking for a big fish now. And I think personally, the numbers are enough today for to gain a point. Other teams had uh, less fish at 12 o'clock. And it's not easy to catch 200 fish in just half a day. It's just nearly impossible. We, we catch in a very, in a very fast way, and uh, I think uh, it should should be good for one point. And now we go for a second one. Yeah, baby! <laughs> now this one is better. Oh, they are beautiful, beautiful fish. <laughs> Look at those beauty. Kitching! They like this one. They come on, they don't want to get rid of them. They inhale them real deep. Go dead mother! Oh grandma. When it's so windy, it's really difficult to have contact with the paddle tail, so we, we're dragging the jigs over the bottom. And we have something with a longer tail on. These are Berkeley's new one, called a Nemesis. So uh, this worked really well on this condition, that's for sure. One more for the book. Berkeley Nemesis, again. So I can guarantee you this is not a perch. Ah, it's not a perch. Ay, 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 don't go there, don't go there. Just come up, you silly pike. Ay, ay, ay. Bye-bye. <laughs> okay, it was a nice yeah, pike. Yeah, the pike master. I'm the pike e man. E e e e e e e e e wink, ah. wink, wink, wink. We do the pike master dance for Jana. <laughs> <laughs> it's your turn oh. tomorrow. Well, Stefan, do you think Albin and Evert were happy for their present? Why not? <laughs> I mean, who would be happy for a present? <laughs> and according With to love. the results, they could use it. <laughs> oh, actually, yeah. Everyone loves a present. I don't think they've used the worms if they only got two. <laughs> Mission fly dressing can afford to be a bit cocky. What a day they are having. I don't think this Whoa. Well done, mate. Ba, 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 ba. This is a gunky topfish. <laughs> One of many. Well done. Well done. Good job. The mood is up and on top at Vision Fly Dressing Team. They have been catching huge amount of fish in the last hours. What's your secret? Magic me know. They just love it. There's the magic minnow. Let's have a closer look at the flies that the team fly dressing vision are using. We actually have a tight V of this ori original pattern. It's called the magic minnow. Uh, but we sort of seriously produced them for, for our fly range on fly dressing. And it's, and it's quite easy to tie as well. I really mean, it's, easy it's... to tie. It's like thin flash and two epoxy eyes and a, and a big epoxy head that gives it the weight and the jigging action. It was actually just an accident we tried this, right? Yeah. Uh, we know there was a lot of uh, small minnows here. So we tried it and it just worked beautifully. Oh, beautiful fish, man. Yeah. Well done. Magic minnow, mass produced. Not tied by me for once. <laughs> <laughs> we just made a big move to a place we call uh, our 
number one spot <laughs> because we had great fishing here when pre-fishing. And I think this was my second cast with a crank, fourth cast. I actually saw some fish on the zone on the 360 by a weed bed and I got hooked up into this one. 820 it says, what a beautiful fish. I thought it was bigger, but I'm excited, of course, as usual, don't you think, Evert? Mm -hmm. the, the only thing that worries me is that all our spots didn't respond as well as, well as in pre-fishing. Yeah. And that doesn't mean that they won't come. No, they, they will come, yeah. for sure. Because the, we proved on the spot that we fished, yeah. they are there. But it's slow. Yeah. Yeah. It's not what I expected from it. No, not me too, but we're gonna keep on hammering in the dark as well. If we won't catch one now before the sun settles, we'll do it after. Just when the steam is low, Everett hooks into something big. This is huge. <laughs> this is huge. No, oh, it's a, a fucking bream. I don't think that one was biting the piglet. I think it was just in the wrong place at the wrong time. Holy shit. Poor thing. Netty, please. I never caught a bream as big as this one. It looks like a carp. I never seen Evert so overwhelmed, but okay, let's put it back and keep fishing for the real species in this competition. And look at the size of this beauty. Look at her. Gold color. Beautiful fish. Maybe you should focus on the perch. Can we measure it, Albin? Yeah, of course. 63. 64. 64. <laughs> <laughs> That's a nice bream. <laughs> it is soon time for the evening report and Stockholm's Fisk is hammering to the bitter end. How do you think the other teams are doing out there, Tom? Well, it's soon time for the report and it will be fun to see how it has gone for the other teams. But I'm uh, pretty sure we're fucked up on the numbers. <laughs> today, but uh, at least we know where the fish are now, and we still got some hours left to fish, so we're gonna keep on hammering the baits. And before you know it, Tom has a fish in the net. Well, I just caught a nice fish. Oh, this is <laughs> really nice. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I think this is our new top fish for sure. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at that. What a fish. Gonna take a wait on this one. Now it's time for the truth. Can it be enough? Oh yeah. 1.525. Yes! Yes! Top fish! <laughs> yes! I hope, hope it's enough for today, but I don't think so actually. Yes! But super, super, super nice fish. What a great fish, and it's soon time for the evening report, and then we'll see if this is enough for one point. 49 centimeters. This is what we talk about. Let little baby swim home. Back she goes. Woo! <laughs> nice! We're on, the, we're on the track. Do you think it is enough? Uh, maybe. You never know. If it on. is sent, that's bad. Uh, I think uh, that um, Team Gunky Lex has the most amount of fish. Or Sporting can be a team that can have a large amount because they had quite good numbers on the first report. So it will be exciting to hear what they say and see if our top fish is enough for today. The teams keep fighting with only one hour left before the evening report. Who will get the first point of Perch Pro 2017? That is the question. We got five minutes to, to the report and we're both hammering the numbers and we're getting a, That's a big fish, good fish in between. No, it's not that. It's a nice, it's a really, really nice perch. It looks like a very big fish. It's a big fish. It is a big fish. Look at the neck on this guy. What? 
So that was the last one before the report. What do you think, Stefan? I'm absolutely not sure. Uh, me neither. Ladies and gentlemen, it's 8 p.m. and it's time for the evening report. Hi guys, this is uh, teamsporting.se. We have a total of 129 perch. Biggest fish, 540 grams. Hello, Falrik, Team Genki Rex. We have a total of 220. Biggest fish of the day, 705 grams. No, 735. Uh, 735, sorry. Hi, this is uh, Evert Ozan from uh, CBC Fishing Team. We have the total of 21 and the biggest one is uh, 0 0.9, 0 0.9. Hi, this is Stefan from uh, Team Vision Fly Dressing. We have a total of 340 perch and the biggest is 1.23 kilos. How, how many did you have in total? Numbers? 340. And the biggest, sorry. <laughs> 1.23 kilos. Hi. Mm. This is Tom from Stockholm's Fiske. We have a total number of 131 and we have a top fish of 1,525 grams. Great. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. Bye bye. Good night. Bye bye. Bye. Well, um, we got the numbers point. <laughs> <laughs> We crashed them. <laughs> but they got the big fish point, yeah, for sure. Well, that's a great fish. Yeah, 1.525. Woohoo! We got a point! Yes! <laughs> we got a point! We got a point for the biggest fish. But the most amazing thing was that Vision has 340 fishes. That's... That's good on fly. Holy crap! <laughs> 340! On the fly! Holy macaroni! Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. It's cool though, it's really, it's really cool. That was pretty unexpected. Uh, 340 perch. Did you hear Frederick Julian? What did you say? Even I heard that sitting next to you. Yeah. That, How that, many that, did you catch? Yeah. 340. Yeah, I, I thought they said it, but then I was, I can't be, I must have heard wrong. Not that, 240. 340 fish. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> they are rocking this day. 340 fish on the fly. Uh, just unbelievable. Yeah, we were so busy. How busy they were. Yeah. Unbelievable. Fuck me, I'm just. <laughs> when I heard uh, Gunkis 220, I was like. Mm. 120 more fish than Gunky. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wonder what they're thinking now. Felix don't get a point? No. And we got and, a point? Uh, CVC had really bad numbers and just top weight of 0 0.9. Yeah. They caught a 1.5. Yeah. They did. I thought that we, they would cut, catch the big fish and you said that it probably is a 1.5. Yeah, and they actually I, did, and that's the biggest perch caught in uh, Perch Pro history. Sorry, say again. <laughs> How many? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Oh, whoa. Let, whoa, let's run. Yeah, well, that's well uh, yeah, do point, it. yeah, let's do 1. it. 1.6. Let's uh, run a half an hour more. Yeah, and then uh, um, just get the shit together and head to the camp. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, no, new no. target, 1.6. Yeah. And for us, uh, what time is it? It's 8? Yeah, it's 8.07, yeah. So we can, we started at 11.30. Yeah. So... We just keep hammering. According to Perch Pro rules, the team have a maximum of 12 hours of fishing in total for each and every day. CVC fishing teams are playing that card and plan to keep fishing for the whole night, well, at least for another three and a half hours. But they didn't get the fish that they needed to steal the big fish point from Stockholm's Fiske. 
Vision Fly Dressing are holding the number point with 347 perch. That's a record catch in the Perch Pro history, closely followed by Ilex Gunky. Stockholm's Fiske caught a dream fish of 1.5 kilo in the top, and that is the biggest perch ever in Perch Pro history. Amazing work, guys, amazing. What a start for Perch Pro 2017 with two days to go. We'll see you next week when we roll out Perch Pro episode 3. Don't forget to subscribe to canalgratis.se for more fishing videos. Uh, so, it's a bit disappointing. Yeah. It's a bit disappointing. But we knew Honestly. that. We told it yesterday uh, before we start. Uh, you know, it's... Uh, Everybody has been really working hard and uh, they, find they deliver. They really deliver. 340 fish. I mean, it must be uh, a place full of perches. I mean, like, we cannot win. Of course, you have to do that every day. I mean, it's hard work, but. Uh, we cannot get down less than 200, uh, 250 tomorrow. We need to have the 300 marks the same. Perch Pro friends, the show is growing and so are you. Thanks to you for sharing our content worldwide. We'll air the final episode of Perch Pro in joint venture with Fish Journalin and the Swedish Sport Fishing Association on a house shaking and groundbreaking cruise ship Viking Line Cinderella. On the boat, you'll get an exclusive pre-screening of the final episode. You can take part in exciting workshops, listen to interesting speeches, shop tax-free, party all night, and maybe take a day after spa session. Enjoy a solid 24-hour cruise of a lifetime together with the people who share your passion for the sport. Cabins start at just 59 euros, and we set sail on February the 4th. More information and tickets in the upright corner link. Talking around